What's going on guys? Welcome back to another Tacoma Mod video. I can't stop shivering. It is 33 degrees in Minnesota. I'm just not ready for it yet. Eventually I'll get used to it, but it's cold. Anyways, let's get right into the install video. I've already installed these Raptor lights previously when I installed the TRD Pro Grill from Tacoma Lifestyle. But I had not made the mistake, but I plugged it into the basically the headlight 10 a headlight fuse um, so that you have to turn your headlights on in order for your Raptor lights to run. I did not want that because I don't want to run my headlights during the day. So um, this install is so that my headlights turn on when I turn my truck on. So let's get right into the video. Currently the Raptor lights are off, but I have the smoked out amber lights again from tacoma lifestyle they came as a package deal with the trd pro grill and currently i have them in this position i think i'm going to change them actually back to the way i had it which was like spread out across the whole top um but i already kind of unplugged all of them so now i just have to take them out individually they just pop right out So the harness for the lights is still actually attached to my fuse box. I got them zip tied here. And then these are the adapters that go into the lights. So that's what I'll snap them back into when I rearrange it on the grill here. So I got my four lights here and instead of just having them right in the middle here, I'm gonna have them go pretty much across the entire grill. And again, they just snap right in. So it's gonna be every other. All right, so now they are spread out across the grill. I'll uh, turn the lights on so you can see them once I plug everything back together. Okay, so all the lights inside of the grill here, all I have to do now is snap these to the zip tied harness. I said that was already in here, so these plugs will just go straight to the lights and then hook it up into the fuse box. Okay, so all the lights are plugged in to the harness here. All four of them. I zip tied just to kind of clean it up a little bit. You can probably do more to uh, hide the wires, but this is, this is good enough for me. And just wired it to the fuse box here. So when I installed these wrapper lights the first time, I was a little bit lazy um, with putting it into the fuse box. So if you don't wire it through the big wire cable right here, when you go to close the lid on the fuse box, it hits this wire and so it doesn't completely close, which um, is not a great thing. You should probably have your fuse box actually closed so water doesn't get in there. So that's what I'm gonna do next. I'm going to put it into this wire bundle here so that my fuse box actually closes. All right, so this is the wire bundle that we're gonna be wiring it through. And honestly, this is very hard to show, but um, there is a clip right here that you have to pull, pull towards yourself and then the back should start to come up just like this. This is a little bit easier for me because I already did this, but you have to work at it a little bit. And then this clip should start to pull up. 
So I pulled this up enough so that there's a nice gap there. You don't have to remove this other uh, fuse right here. I just kind of wanted to get it out of the way so you guys could, sh could see a little bit easier. But here is my positive. That is gonna go to the fuse box. And so I'm basically gonna just wire it through the little, see if I can pull it up more, through the gap right there. So probably the hardest part has been just to feed it through this little slot. So now that I have it through here, we're gonna put the fuse adapter on and then put it to the fuse box. And also I forgot to mention that we just did the um, positive positive fuse right here that goes into the actual fuse box and then you have the negative the ground that I connected to the side of the truck here you have to actually remove this bolt 10 millimeter bolt and just put the ground connected right there all right so here is the fuse adapter it has a 10 amp 15 amp um, fuses connected in there and then here is where you crimp it to the um, to the positive except you can see I've crimped it um, so many times that I've kind of destroyed it so I just use electrical tape to make sure it stays so we got it the electrical tape on there just to make sure it stays because if you do not have a good connection the lights will not come on. So I'm actually going to put it into this INJ fuse right here. I'm gonna look at the exact number. Right, so this is the fuse right, the, right here, this 10A INJ fuse, that's what I'm putting it in so that the Raptor lights will always turn on when the truck is turned on, this one right here. So I already remo removed the fuse that was there and then I'm going to plug in this one that I just connected. this one back in as well and then and also this clip that we slid off needs to be clipped back down pushed back down I guess so that we can put the fuse box back on that's back in place and then I just want to make sure that the fuse box actually closes this time oh, wow it is cold so now when I turn my truck on the Raptor lights come on which is exactly what I want all right and there we have it they are working, successful install. And uh, tell me guys what you guys think, if you like it better all the way across or the way I had it before. I don't know, I see pictures and I change my mind all the time, but I'll keep it like this for now. It's super easy to change, but yeah, for now I'll keep it like this. I right, guess so that is going to be the install video. Fairly simple, the hardest part was probably just feeding that fuse through the small gap. Um, and it was, I, I apologize, it's hard to film uh, in the fuse box. There's a lot going on in there. But if you do have any comments or questions, put them down below. Also, let me know if you prefer the Raptor lights, look across the entire grill or more to the center. Um, I, I don't know. I like both ways. I keep changing them though. I can't make up my mind. But let me know down below. Give this video a thumbs up. Subscribe if you are not already. And I'll see you guys in the next video.